Oh my goodness. I can't see it so bright. I've been in the nether for so long. It's too bright out here in the overworld. Man, it's been a while since I've been out here. So let's take a moment to enjoy this view, guys. I don't know if I've said, said it yet, but uh, me, Bruce, and a few others, we've finished digging out this entire circle. Uh, at least down to one block, and we'll see where we go from there. So that's what I was doing in between. Just when I wanted to jump on and do something without doing something. Helping Bruce dig that out. But I went to do start doing the storage for the for the gold farm which i said i was going to do and quickly figured out that i don't have enough wood enough iron enough chests to to make the wood out of and all that kind of stuff i just don't have that stuff so and uh i thought about it and i was watching mattis who's over there I think I only see a slice of his building. And uh, he's after some podzol. And the trees that generate podzol are huge. And I need lots of wood. So maybe I might be able to help out Mattis deliver a few, few bits of podzol to him. And get some wood at the same time. So what I'm going to do is create or build a small little podzol farm. What I'll do, I'll go grab some blocks to get building and we'll see you all back here very shortly. Just coming back from getting some getting some stuff and it looks like we've got a new neighbour. We'll just peek over the fence here. <laughs> just uh, to say, hey neighbour, you know, welcome to the neighbourhood. So my, yeah, my neighbours are currently Rex over there and this is Envy over here so I won't show too much of his building just that side of it but yes we are all all well, i've got i've got resources not quite i know what the farm built looks like but i've got to just do a nice little little bridge up to it i'm going to have it out over the ocean here just coming out from here like you can see i've set up chests i'll just come out of here just kind of nicely and it goes out to here. So the farm we're going to build today is from iJevon. And uh, yeah, it was really, I saw it, I saw it on YouTube, caught my eye, the thumbnail caught the attention. And I was like, that's just so simple. So I'm going to give it a go. So I'll get to, uh, I'll put a little flashcard or something on the screen, a little thumbnail of what I'm about to build. I'll put it up on screen. And next time I come back to you hopefully I'll have a nice a little bit of a bridgey thing built all right so that's the uh, that's the entrance up doesn't look too bad since it's a spruce farm I, th I thought I'd make the the main pillars out of spruce so from here we will go out we add a little bit more and then start the actual farm and I've just looking at my inventory I've completely overdone probably what I need for this farm but you know overdoing it in Minecraft is always better than underdoing it so let's move on to the next bit so here I am thinking oh, I'm doing a good job here this is coming together all right I just made a few modifications here because I came this is the next day I came on and I went yeah that looks a bit sticky outy a little bit too pokey up so I modified this a bit here not too sure about these pillars but uh, yeah cool all right we come up here we come across the bridge great all right now let's build a two by two spot to put the tree so can anyone spot what's wrong there it's not going to be centered so yeah a little fail there from motherwood so basically i'm probably just going to bring uh this one so this part of the bridge will be four 
and then it will go it'll taper down to to the middle to two or to two I guess so we'll go four four and then to two and then we should be all centered so I'll go ahead and rip all this down and come back when it's centered alrighty now we are all evened up here now we're four across I might change this one just to a slab span. I don't think it's I think it's working a bit better now. I didn't I didn't taper it off in the two. I just put these polished andesites on the side. And uh, yeah, I think it almost looks like it tapers down to two. The bridge becomes a little bit thinner and then we come out here and this will be that's wrong this will be the entrance to the platform of the puzzle farm so we'll get to building that right now okay so we got the uh the growing platform done and the bats love it for some reason <laughs> i don't know what's going on there but uh yeah they're all it's all in now i just need to figure out i'll have a look from this side we'll look at what we can do to make it attached to the ground nicely wood, wood pylons into the water and uh yeah should come up all right hopefully by the time you see me next we'll plant some trees and here we are hopefully all complete so i changed just put the feet on the bottom there looking like they're log supports that go through to kind of nowhere with some stairs underneath um tore up tore up the ground underneath a little bit here that still needs a little bit of work but you can see where it's kind of going i'm pretty happy with yeah, once there's a bit of grass in there and maybe a few ditches a few uh holes like that around and the seagrass of course put that around there it'll look quite quite good so up the stairs through here close the gates so i put a couple chests in the, in here we've got a enough dirt to sink a battleship that's repurposed from all of this so it's found itself a home uh, so we'll grab grab a stack of that that should be enough we've got 13 left and hopefully the pods all will all go in there now it's a manual thing at the moment where these where these uh where the cobblestone is that could actually be hoppers and they could feed into a chest automatically but I don't think we're going to be using this that much that it needs to be automated but you know if we've found the time later we will do that we'll upgrade it give it an upgrade they'll just be dropping this chest down a little bit so here is the moment of truth I've only got 15 bone mill on me, so fingers crossed. Hey, there we go. So as you can see there, the tree in the face. The tree has grown, small one actually. And uh, trees grown and the puzzles around the outside so basically now you just chop the tree down keep the leaves if you want as well almost uh yeah chop the tree down grab your shovel and don't do that A, must be a silk axe. Must be a silk, silk touch. B 
but you get the drift. You get the drift. Pods will generate, chop your tree down, and then go again. And that is it. So I haven't actually seen this thing at night time because I've been sleeping. Let's see. I just opened up two doors then. Hopefully I don't die. Should look quite nice. Yes, look at that. Well, it's good. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to chop down a few more trees and uh, move on to the next little thing I need to do. So we'll see you then. So over here in the village at spawn and this is where i wanted to do the, the other little thing basically we need some mending on most of our tools since we're going to chop down a tree we're at least going to put mending on our axe so i wanted to make one of these a micro farm and it works a treat as you i don't know if you saw it there but uh yep 64 emeralds and four fun times man it works as always so this is a design i got from hex um i guess if this is the pretty basic design uh we've got the dispense three dispensers onto a farmland block with a switch that starts the clock the water source is behind that block there and this is the clock, the which is kind of cool, using two observers, one facing into each other. So that one's facing down, that one's facing up. And the sticky piston just pulls it in and it starts the clock. Once, when it starts the clock, it obviously goes across the dispensers. And it also, the key here is it also flashes this light, the redstone lamp. So you can see here, I can't plant can't plant can't plant potatoes carrots but when I turn it on and the light flashes the light flashes lets me plant and then breaks still some potatoes here there we go 13 so it's a little bit laggy if this was a single player it'd be firing away but there you go we went from 13 to 24 potatoes in no time here it is with carrots. It works a treat also. And of course the, the wheat seeds. You get plenty of those. And that is working, I promise. So that will save a lot of time. I did have to go get some quartz I left at the gold farm. So I traded that with these guys. With the uh, acrylics. Oh, whatever they are. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of that. A lot of rotten flesh comes out of the farm, and of course a lot of gold. So yeah, that that um, that's the other little thing I'm gonna do. So I'll take these emeralds and go find a mending villager. Obviously, Mattis has one over there, but I think Rex has one in stowed away in his little little breeder over there so i might go have a look at that one all right guys this is just a little filler episode while i'm gathering materials to do the to do the gold farm uh, storage so thank you very much for watching be sure to check out the other plankers in the description below they're doing a lot of cool stuff lately and uh yeah we'll see you in the next video where hope where hopefully we're in back on the roof of the nether and doing a storage for the gold farm. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye!